literally clearing the whole entire shelf. My name is Dan. Supermarket guys, meet Claudia. <laughs> Thank you so much. Time for you to post it. Nice to meet you, too, my darling. Have a good day. What's up, guys? What's up? Welcome back to the channel. It is Lydia. If you're new around here, hey, what's up? Welcome. If not, get in the front because the VIP sit at the front. I love saying that. What's up, guys? Merry Christmas Eve to you guys. I wanted to start this video, but there's been so much happening at the same time. So, what's really new? I wasn't in the energy to be seen yesterday. So, instead, you just got to see me getting my nails done. I went to all London, got my Christmas nails done. I absolutely love them. Like, I love the sparkle. You see the sparkle that it gives? I'm so obsessed. I kind of wish that I did it on all my nails. Love my nails. So, we did all London yesterday. I'm back at the gym. Well, oh, Damon and I are both back at the gym. So, we're really happy about that. But then today, we are basically in Central and we are about to shoot a campaign. In fact, no, we've shot a campaign, but now we're about to go and watch the new Hunger Games film. And I'm so excited about it. We went to Sainsbury's, picked up some food, some snacks, and I've just picked up an offer, guys. This is like literally one of my favorite snacks ever. And this was 20p. These are baby snacks, by the way, but I absolutely love them, especially when I'm craving like Haribo's and stuff. Mind you, I have two packets of Haribo's waiting for me at the cinema, but this is for the times when I'm feeling healthier. These were 20p in Sainsbury's. So after the cinema, we're gonna go back and get clear the shelf. Like I'm literally clearing the whole entire shelf because 20p, new year, new me. But yeah, Merry Christmas guys. I'm very excited about literally being done. I feel like this is the last campaign that we've just shot. So I think I'm done with work, work for the year. It's just us, like me and you just chatting and vlogging. That's what we need to do. But campaign wise, tick. Your girl's done with work for 2023. By now you're watching, I hope that you are also done with work. And if not, I'm sorry girl. I literally feel you, I really do. I'm making a change today. The lid have been taking the pain away. I heard you was giving your chain away. That's kind of like giving your fame away. What's wrong with you? I sit in a box where the owners do. A boss is a road that I've grown into. I love you to death, but I told you the truth. I can't just be with you and only you. Yeah. I got one virtual, got one in that day. the only two, man. I now call on the LSE alumnus, Damani Unifardi. <laughs> First and foremost, let me extend my heartfelt congratulations to everyone gathered in this hall today. My name is Damini, and I stand before you as someone who has been incredibly privileged enough to have had the London School of Economics and Political Sciences as a core part of so many steps in my life journey. It has become increasingly clear to me that there is no manual or guide to adulthood, and to succeed, it is important to have a well-grounded belief in yourself and your ability to lead and achieve. The only thing constant in life is change and adapting to change is what will set you apart. Be purposeful about how you want to contribute and occupy space in the world. Your degree from the LSE will serve as a reminder that through determination and hard work, you can accomplish anything you set your mind to. So go out and live, lead, and instigate the change that you wish to see. So with that, I say good luck, class of 2023. The world eagerly awaits your contributions. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Anifardi. I'm actually checking in from LSE, London School of Economics. Oh, this is so, this is an exciting day. We've just come back from the 2023 graduation service where my husband was speaking. Oh my God. If you guys didn't know that Damini is a graduate from LSE and he was actually invited to come back and do an, the closing speech for this year's class, which blows my mind. I'm so impressed. Like, I'm just, I've been looking at him today. Like, but baby, you're so hot. Like, you're so attractive. <laughs> the ceremony has just finished and now we're in the hold area. There's professors, there's like all of the gowns and stuff. He's actually in a gown, he's just gone to the gents. So when he comes back, you guys will see him. But oh, guys, literally, I was just there like, <laughs> hey man, 
that's my man, that's my man. Like literally the whole time as he was speaking. But he gave a really, really great motivational speech. Just kind of wrapping up the end of year for them, wishing the graduates well and letting them know that adulting is rough. <laughs> but I have just been here the supportive wife today. I didn't even get a chance to put on any makeup at all because we're just so busy. And this is one of the things that we're working on as well. Every time when I'm like, oh my God, there's just so much going on. It's some stuff I literally can't say until it happens. And this is one of the things. Look at him, baby. Oh, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, bro. You did it. <laughs> Supportive wife, sorry, didn't mind me. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna. Should, should I just wait here for you guys to do what you think? I can come. Yeah. I can tag along. Great. Love that, guys. You're precariously balanced on a bottle right now, but all as well. Fit is black owned. Black owned Kai Collective dress is also black owned. We'll love it. London tour. This is my first time walking past the Royal Court of Justice. <gasps> it's giving law, it's giving history. What's up guys? Checking in. I've not been up too much today. You've literally not missed anything. The time is <laughs> half past three. Not great. But I've spent the whole morning and early afternoon just basically on that sofa. Working away. Getting things done. What's new? <laughs> but I thought we should catch up. Today is the day after Damini. Damini's day yesterday. Oh, I'm so proud of him. I'm literally like the proud wife in the family group chat yesterday. I was like, dear all. My husband today spoke at the LSE graduation and he gave the final closing speech. I was literally the proud wife for the family group chat. Like, <laughs> when everybody was wishing him congratulations, I was like, yeah, thank you, thank you. Sorry, what, did, what part did I have to play in any of this? What part did I have to play in any of this? None. But listen, if you don't take credit for your husband's work, what's up with that? It's like the same thing when it's like your boyfriend or your husband's or your fiance's birthday and it's basically your birthday. So yesterday I was literally getting all of the congratulations and all of the well wishes it was kind of funny. Yesterday was so, so big for Damini. Like, I'm so proud of him. He is an LSE alumni and to be invited to speak at the closing ceremony for the 2023 graduates is like, it's just another testament to his character. Like literally, I was just thinking, the whole time I was just looking at him when he was on stage and I was just thinking like, I'm just glad it's you and it makes sense that it's you, like him, because he is everything that I think that he is and it's always validated by others as well. Like, this is why you need to like, I don't want to preach. I don't want to preach, I really don't. But I think like this is why you need to be clear about what it is that you're looking for in a partner as a person. Because for me, character, like the kind of the character of him was something that was really important. Someone who's loyal, someone who is trustworthy, somebody who is like responsible, somebody who's trusted by institutions. Not even just me, like let alone me trusting him, but like institutions trust him to be able to come and deliver a final closing speech to graduates of master's degrees at LSE. Like it's really giving like, that's my man. I was so proud yesterday. But back to my point, like this literally, it just, it reminds me that I remember at the start of the year I wanted to show you guys this but at the start of the year I was talking about the importance of making a list like when you're looking for a partner it is so important it's not about being preachy it's just like I guess it's just me explaining something from my experience and a positive one at that and so obviously I want my girls to have the same positive experience that I've had and so for me it goes back to what I was saying at the start of the year my stories where I was like it's important for you to make a list guys oh my god I made a list like my list was so freaking clear it's important for you to make make a list and be very sure about what it is that you're looking for in a partner and you need to be looking at their character like let me let me break it to you you need to look at the character because the character of a person should not change it does not change whether they're interacting with you or whether they're interacting with others and how others see them and how you see them should be pretty much like you know equal because their character is the same if they are a loyal person then everybody should see them as a loyal person because everybody should have received them as that if there's somebody there who's dependable somebody who is trusted trustworthy, somebody who is honest, you know, these are all qualities that should not change dependent on who the person is interacting with, but should just be characters, like characteristics that make up that person, which other people also see in them, you know? And so that's why I was saying that I'm so pleased for Damini and I was so proud yesterday, the proud wife, because it's so nice for others to also like recognize those same 
characteristics in him and for that reason ask him to do such an um, amazing thing like it's a huge task you know like damn baby they really think that you loyal you're trustworthy you're dependable and you're all of these things that i think too like it's a credit to who he is it's literally got nothing to do with me like it has nothing to do with me but it's more a credit to who he is and his character and i just honestly i just love that for me and i want that for all of us like so it's not to give preachy vibes it's just more i thought about it yesterday on the train and i was literally like character i'm so 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 happy that others see him the same like as i've gone on i don't know if i've gone on if i have i apologize but if not i hope you take the message in that please make your list babe and don't let anyone tell you that you're being too tough or you're being too rigid or you're never gonna find the person that you're looking for or all of these things that limitations that they see for themselves don't let anyone apply those same limitations to you like you're allowed to create your life and you're allowed to look for the things and appreciate and want the things that you want and you're actually also like why can't you get them literally why not you you know i'd be saying like why not me why would i not get the things that i want like you're surely deserving of it aren't you like you know what i mean not that you're deserving let me <laughs> You know, hold on. Nobody's deserving, like nobody's deserving of anything. Like literally nobody's deserving of anything but the grace of God. But at the same time, what I'm saying is that don't don't limit yourself according to what others see. Like go for the things that you want because there's no reason why you shouldn't have it. Does that make sense? That's kind of how I tend to live my life. I go off things like, you know what? Why not me? Literally, why not me? Anyway, this is the package. This is a little gift that uh, they gave Damini yesterday. I really like this packaging. I will definitely be holding onto that and re-gifting in it because I mean, recycle, reuse, reduce. So inside there was this, which is a notepad and it has basically all of the different campuses for LSE. And I actually got a chance to have a look at this yesterday when we were at the rooftop because they let us have access to the top of the roof. And LSE has like the new building one of the new buildings its position is just perfect you can see so much of london you can see the london eye you can see all of the monumental buildings like it's really really cool like super cool really great view but yeah this notepad just has all of their different campuses on there and this is the one that i was seeing from the top damn let's see baby well done and then of course a mug is giving harry potter with their crest oh okay and then there's also a pin and then they wrote him a letter but what i wanted to show you guys is the quality of this card oh my god it literally had me daydreaming you know one thing about me i'm gonna dream but this card and the little emblem and the way it feels and the quality of the paper and the shiny logo it's giving inspiration for the o's christmas like next year i literally just decided the second that i got this card that next year i'm doing personalized christmas card on good quality paper that's the kind of bougie i'm trying to be yeah yeah maybe i'm just being excited but i don't know why not dream you know so that was yesterday that was really fun anyway now i have some shopping to put away i was thinking about even seasoning some chicken but i'm just really not in the mood i really just want to go and do some unboxing because by the time that you guys are watching this video i believe that it is christmas eve so i'm gonna do some unboxings for you should i do them downstairs or should i do them here because downstairs is still not done and every time i go downstairs i'm literally like oh my gosh it's giving failed project and i don't like to fail i really don't oh, let's bring it let's do downstairs but let me put away the shopping first should we do a little shopping haul so you can see what i bought kale onions stir fry mix chicken thighs of course i'm gonna leave this here because i should i no i'll put it in the fridge because i actually am i seasoning this now lydia yes or no no can we skip to the good part puppy popcorn tang fastic haribos whenever you see these know that your girl is going through something <laughs> had so many of these lately rose prosecco aunt bessie's yorkshire puddings shopping haul done let's go and do some unboxings downstairs i don't want to do them upstairs or don't want to do them downstairs i want to do them downstairs but i don't want to it's like downstairs is a physical reminder of the thing that i haven't done and so like i genuinely actively avoid having to see the active reminder of the task that i haven't done but let's go guys i even went to concierge and you guys know that i hate going to concierge i'm always so lazy i think i might have picked possibly the worst time to have gone to concierge because there were so many people there like basically parents picking up their kids from school and then stopping by concierge to i guess pick up their packages and i think because like you guys are watching this on christmas eve but as of recording it is the 13th of december so i guess everyone's getting all their presents and all of their gifts and what are you guys doing for presents what are you guys doing for presents like this year are you doing presents because Damien and i haven't even just discussed that like we literally haven't talked about that but this is literally because i only want one thing there's literally only one thing on my list and it's hella expensive <laughs> oh god but are you guys 
doing presents with your loved ones or are you doing Secret Santa? Like, Secret Santa, I think, is actually also a really good way to do gifts because especially when you do like a spend cap on Secret Santa, I just think that then that way the pressure is taken off, like feeling like you need to buy somebody an expensive gift. Do you feel that way? Or are you someone who feels like a gift is a gift and so if someone gifts you regardless of the price of it or regardless of what the gift is, you just love it and appreciate it? I don't know, you guys, let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments because that's always it's always like a sticking point. Do you gift somebody what you think they'd like and then they should be thankful it's a gift? Or do you ask them what to gift them? Or do you not do gifts at all? Or whatever in between. Let me know in the comments because I'm definitely interested. I am basically just avoiding trying on this stuff and unboxing but I said I would so I should but I might need a glass of wine let me get a glass of wine you guys I'm not the biggest fan of unboxing things that's why I never really bring them onto you but I actually don't mind watching other people unboxing things but for me I don't know why I don't that's why there's always just piles of stuff even like if he's always getting onto me if he's like why don't you just open your, your why don't you open your packages and it's not even just like PR packages that I'm not opening it's like things that I have ordered things that I ordered like on Amazon next day and then it comes and I'm just there like oh I'm I'm glad it's here but then I won't open it like am I the only one let me get some wine <laughs> any of the OG watchers remember where this wine glass is from like you'll really be a really super OG if you remember let me know right in the comments I want to see some I'm trying to see some cheers guys I didn't even say cheers cheers let's go and try all these clothes I'm literally I'm avoiding I'm avoiding and it's spiraling <laughs> I feel like the reason why I might be avoiding trying on clothes is definitely because I don't feel so confident about myself right now like I've been eating like crazy that's that's what you need to know I've been eating like a mad woman and there's nobody to blame besides me so I've got to stuck it up and just literally get on with it and think about how I'm gonna get back to me instead of wondering and being anxious and sad about it you know because frankly I have a packet of Haribo's upstairs that I'm gonna yum down anyway so I can't be sad now <laughs> I literally can't be sad I've got Haribo's oh let's do this I know what this one is this is actually clothes but it's something that I'm really looking forward to. So these bits from Opoly are some bits that I had ordered. Remember last week when I had my to-do list? This is the order that I made and now it's here. But this is one of the gifts from House of CB and I'm really excited. I love the packaging. The packaging is really cute. I don't know what this one is that they sent. Ah, oh, it's that top. Oh my goodness. <gasps> guys look at this this is so freaking cute i love the beads at the top i love the way it snatches the waist it's a yes from me it actually came as a two-piece top so this is the top half of the corset but obviously you can wear it separately if you want to and that's kind of how i tried it on in the store without this bit but it's good to have so that's the first thing you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pack away as i undo because then that way it won't be too hectic in here because that's really what i hate about trying to do a big unboxing and big big mess at the end let's start here so this is happy holidays from murad Ooh. okay so this is what the pr package looks like thank you very much to murad for gifting this to your girl got my bin right here guys like it's got evidence of my bad eating ah! Anyway, Murad, let's see what's in here. Oh my God, does it have my fave? Vitamin C Environmental Shield Serum is actually one of my absolute faves. Oh guys, it's so cute. Everything is like wrapped up in individual packages. These would make like great stocking fillers. I absolutely love these. This looks like the shape of the serum that I love. No, not the one. This is the Retinol Youth Renewal Eye Serum. This one is good, but it's not my absolute fave. I think this is my fave. Oh yeah! absolutely love 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 this it's the environmental shield vitamin c glycolic serum the lady who does my facials highly recommended this and i've been using it ever since and i have been in love so thank you so much to murad for that and then there's also some other pieces in here which has got the exfoliating cleanser exfoliating cleanser and the hydrodynamic moisture I don't think I've used this one before. Yeah, oh my God, thank you so much to Mirad. Guys, let me tell you something. You see my PR cupboard? You see when I have like excess PR like this? I have a PR cupboard and in my old place, you guys know if you watch the render vlogs, you know that little shelf like in where the old boiler used to be and then I turned it into like a PR cupboard. That is still there. But what we do is that when people visit Dot and my brother, they literally get gifts from that cupboard. And then when people come and visit me, literally here, I always like to give people like a little nice takeaway box, like a little nice, 
just have a little rummage in a cupboard and see what you like and also for birthdays presents gifts who doesn't like like good quality makeup or good quality skincare i love 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 gifting my family and friends all of my excess pr it really is one of the perks of this job like 10 out of 10 would highly recommend so what i'm gonna do this is going on to my bathroom because i actually needed to replace that asap but i might keep this in my travel kit so that when i travel i have the exact same skincare because sometimes i have to do like the little empties and that's never fun to do a little packing of my travel kit thank you so much Miro, for that that's real cute okay next oh let me do these seeing as they're here so you guys saw me going to the furla event and they so kindly have sent me two perfumes this is actually what we went for for the launch and this remember i had like jasmine pistachio sea salt and this is the latest perfume should i open it yeah i should open it so i have so many perfumes should i open this right now maybe not oh, i think i remember when i was in the store i actually think i preferred the smell of this so let me open this one because i just said that i have so many perfumes and i shouldn't open it but let me open this i remember smelling this in the, in the store and i absolutely loved it so this order perfume has a joyful burst of sparkling and juicy notes and it's got peonies and cherry blossoms in it wrapped in cashmere woods patchouli and musk oh that is so fresh. Guys, I'm the worst at describing things, but juicy, sparkling. Peony is like one of my favorite scents in perfume. One of my favorite scents ever is Peony Nabil. Can't remember the perfume, but I'll put a little picture here because I absolutely love that. And this kind of reminded me of that because it's got peonies. So thank you so much to Frolla. It's really, really nice. Okay, this I have been meaning. I cannot believe, guys. It is the 13th of December. Guys, this was Dot's birthday present to me and i had to wait until december because it's a harrods 12 days of fragrance christmas calendar but i was meant to start this on the 1st of december guys i've been waiting since september to open this and then we've got all the way to december the 13th and i haven't opened it i haven't opened a single one are you crazy this is what i mean like guys i'm really bad at opening packages this is my sister's gift to me i remember i really wanted this because of one particular perfume and it is when damley and i went to celebrate our one year anniversary we went to maine in london and oh my goodness nobody told me about maine so i'm gonna tell you about maine maine is really the main entrance like that place the food was banging guys if you're looking for like a place to go for like a nice anniversary dinner sexy grown settings they even had like a, a jazz singer like somebody singing oh it was so good and the food was delicious but it's expensive okay maine is definitely like a it's giving anniversary settings possibly birthday i guess but it's like dark like really dark it's like a date setting do you know what i mean so i say all of this to say that when we went to maine as we're waiting to check in to go and sit at our table one babe walked past me and she smelled delicious my god i was literally like in a way and one thing about me <laughs> one i compliment like i'm I fling off compliments like they're free, literally because they are free. If I see something that I like on someone, you're gonna hear it from me. I was like, oh girl, you smell so freaking good. Like, what do you smell of? And she was like blushing. She was like, oh girl, <laughs> well, I smell of, and it was this. I'm sure you guys already know by, by now, but I'd be late to things. But when I'm, when I'm on, I'm bringing you guys on with me too. So the perfume that, that she smelled like was this one here and it smells so good it's the delina one and the thing is guys this has like the names of the different perfumes that are in here but i have no idea which window it is hence why i was like oh i'm gonna wait until christmas december 1st and, and open them but then look it's december 13th and that just goes to show you how like mentally i have my i've been at capacity not even the things that i've been waiting for since september have i done but yeah so this was a gift from dot and it has literally all of the perfumes i don't even know how to guess which one it is should we open all of them i don't think so but i remember the bottle being thin and long guys and these are like these are good sizes they're like 30 mils 50 mils 20 mils there's a few 10 mils the one that i want is 30 mils so maybe it's the biggest one <gasps> please 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 i don't even know if this is it like i literally don't know is this it i know that it's pink in the bottle no this is harrods oh oh that is so sweet mm this smells delicious don't ask me to describe it i'll do a terrible job should we try one more <gasps> i think this is it <gasps> yes oh my god yes this is the perfume oh thank you so much to my sis thank you to my sis and my sis 
Oh, one thing about me, I'm gonna bring up my sister. <laughs> I'm gonna always find a reason to bring up my sister. <gasps> Guys, I'm gonna smell so good. Oh, why is it so small? Is this 30 mils? Are you sure? So, this is it. Oh, she smells so good. I am so happy. This is it. This is why This is why I wanted this whole entire thing. But then I also now have 12 other fragrances, guys. What? <laughs> guys, let me be so for real. Like, I feel, honestly, I feel so, so lucky. Like, thank you to Dot. But not even just to Dot, but for my job. Like, for the fact that I even get... The fact that I have, I'm sitting here with how many? 13, 14, 15 different fragrances. Like this is a literal dream come true. Like I remember back in uni when I literally could not afford any perfume. And I remember I used to work in Dorothy Perkins and inside the Dorothy Perkins, it was like in a shopping mall where they had a fragrance store. And I remember I got samples of the Jimmy Choo Flash. It comes like in like a spiky almost bottle. Yeah, I remember getting samples of that and then eventually being able to like save enough for me to buy the perfume and I was just so happy with myself I was literally like I have a signature scent and in fact before that even way before that when I was in like primary school I remember being able to afford the Britney Spears fantasy oh my god that was my signature scent alongside like 70% of the school <laughs> <laughs> but it didn't matter because I remember just being like, this is something that I own and I always take pride in being able to like buy something and achieve something by myself. Like however big or small the goal is, I just feel so proud of myself. So I remember like buying my Jimmy Choo flash perfume, being like, this is my big girl perfume. And then now like being able to sit here and being sent fragrances from like brands like Furla and also receiving like all of these, like I don't take it granted, like, I really don't take it for granted. It might seem corny or cheesy, whatever, but to me, this literally is a marker of like achievement. It's a marker of growth. It's a marker of like, well done to me. Like, well done to me. I know that my sister gave it to me, but damn. <laughs> One thing about me, I'm always gonna celebrate me as well. Guys, like, my self love, my self worth, my self, like how I see myself, more times than not, is actually usually very, very very high like and i want that for everyone else i want people to have like self-belief self-love anyway this whole room tastes like perfume i might unbox them every single day by myself until christmas and yeah i'm really happy with that thank you so much guys i'm getting tired and the battery's running out oh my god this is so light what on earth is this <laughs> that's a gift from germany i <laughs> Hey, guys, let's do let's do the big box. Let's do the big box and call it a wrap because I'm getting tired. Oh my god, we haven't done the Opoly one. That's so funny. That's actually hilarious. This I wouldn't know what it is, but I haven't checked inside. Inside. Up high, hands up high. Turn the dimming lights down right now. Put me in the room. I'm talking about dark room perfume. Okay guys, so I have changed and I've got two things on from Opoly that I thought might be worth showing you. So the first is this, this top right here. It's like the version of the Skims top and oh, oh, it's a hit. Look at all that stretch. And okay, I don't know if you can tell, but it's slightly ribbed. I couldn't tell that, but it is slightly ribbed. It's got the ribs, it is so stretchy. Oh my goodness. And it comes up quite long. It comes up like to here on my bum. Oh, this is really nice. This is like Opoly's version of the Skims top. And this is called, this is the ribbed modal high neck top. And I got this in a size medium. And then the trousers are changed to the mid-rise straight leg trousers, black in size 12. And these actually fit. So I think size large is 12 to 14. It's got that bit where it folds up at the front. This is what I've been getting sent ads on on TikTok. These are so stretchy. Oh my God, I'm gonna live in these. Also, not like, they're not, they're not straight, you know, it's got a bit of a flair to it. These are the trousers that my ads have been literally just burying me in the ad of this trouser. So I said, you know, okay, okay, I'll buy it. I bought it and I love it. I think I'm gonna get it in brown. Whatever colors they have it in, this is a yes. Big booty ladies, go for it. Very comfy, very snug, very, very freaking cute. And the top is also a big fat yes from me. Now I can possibly put my taller ones to rest, but I have about four black taller ones and two long brown taller ones. So add into my black top collection. I really like this. Okay, you know what? I'm having a good time. I'm gonna try on this set as well because I'm really, really happy with this. The first one was a no bueno, but this one, she gets a yes from me. Guys, okay. so for some strange reason, unbeknown to me, I also ordered a jumpsuit, a sleeveless 
jumpsuit. I literally don't know, but I like it. I like it. Whatever that Lydia was thinking, I'm with it. Like, it's just a plain double lined jumpsuit. Iffy would love this. Maybe I thought about Iffy when I was ordering this, but I got this, it's in a size 12. I think it's fine. It might be a little bit big, but I think it's actually mostly fine. Like I said, I've come to accept that things don't fit me perfectly unless I go and get them tailored. But it's really, it's nice. A stretchy black jumpsuit, comfortable for inside. I guess maybe when I'm like hosting or whatever. And it's really nice because it's like, so they've got these bits at the top here, which should help it stay up. And also it is double lined, which makes it nice and like, not see through. I like things that are double lined. So yeah, this is something else that I got from Opoly. Guys, when the wine runs out, the try on is done. So two more sips. Guys, the last thing is this two piece, but I just don't think very flattering on me. The skirt is definitely too big all around and the top does not look all that flattering on me. I don't know, I'm not sure about all of these cutouts. Like clothes have the strangest cutouts these days. Like, wow, and how would I wear a bra? Yeah, this is not, this is not giving. So this I got in a size 12, so I think I need to go down to like a size 10 for the skirt, but I'm just not feeling it. You know what? But at least I have these three bits. I'm definitely gonna keep these three bits. But now it just means that that's like literally three more black things to add to my wardrobe. All of my daily clothes, all of the things I wear like for errands and stuff, they literally just tend to be black. It's just simple, it's easy. I don't have to think about it. Sometimes spare your brain cells for something more important. Do you know what I mean? I'm gonna go ahead and put these away. And then I think that's pretty much it. We are done with the try on and unboxings. Yeah. What? I recognize your fragrance. Hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit. Ooh. And I know you well, taste this a little then bit. This is gonna be the last time that I'm gonna do it. Guys, I have just got a call from Doc telling me about the future planning sheet because we're hosting it with a website who is charging us. Guys, these are fruit flyers that have been about. <gasps> oh my God, I need to show you something. One sec, let me finish my trailer thought. Remember the future planning sheet that I, I shared with you guys? Guys, they're charging me like 50 pounds per month to be sharing that. So this is the last month I'm gonna be doing it. Like this is literally the last month. I'm gonna have a link in the description box for you guys to go and download the free future planning sheet. This is actually the perfect time to do it because Damily and I actually do our planning session pretty damn soon in the calendar where well, we're going to be going through kind of the last year how it's been whether we've met all of our goals and then also planning for 2024 so guys as you heard me telling Doc, this is the last time I'm paying for that 50 pounds per month membership to give you guys a free product. Make it make sense. So yeah, I wanna have the link in the description box if you want a free copy of the future planning sheet, especially given the time of year now, go run and download it. We've had over 2,600 downloads, Dot said, since the last time I shared. The first time I shared, I told you there was a thousand, now there's 2,600. And this is the last month that I'm gonna have it up for free for. In fact, this is the last month I'm gonna have it up because why am I being charged? To give a free product. It actually makes no sense. But anyway, I am just about to wash and season some chicken, literally what's new, so that when Damini comes back from work, there'll be some chicken waiting on him. So let me do that. seeing this guy on TikTok with this same kitchen towel roll holder that I do, that I have, this checkered one. I absolutely love the checkered print. And it's from TK Maxx. The funny thing about it is that he's been going viral, literally trying to figure out which kitchen roll fits into his. And it's funny because when I first bought it, I was literally like, what the hell is this? It's a kitchen roll, but you can't take it apart. It only takes really, really big kitchen rolls. So all this time, literally every single time I see that guy on my TikTok and he's been like creating all this content around how he can't find the right kitchen roll i just want to stitch him and be like mns babe like go and look in mns i don't know i'm just letting the adventures carry on but seeing him on tiktok literally creating content around his kitchen roll holder just further reaffirms the fact that guys if you're thinking about starting to create content in 2024 honestly go ahead and do it like there's literally no rules there are no rules at all and people are living and making their dreams come true via creating content on social media and i don't think that you should be stopping yourself like don't stop yourself by saying oh i'm too shy oh i can't do it i have nothing to talk about someone is literally going viral over kitchen roll like literally a kitchen roll holder that's what's making somebody go off and possibly make some side income like if 2024 your goal is to start content please start 
just stop. Don't worry about how silly you may look. Like literally, what is it that I see the girl saying? Don't care to be seen trying. Like there is nothing wrong with trying and being seen trying more importantly, because yeah, sometimes you do stuff and you succeed and sometimes you do stuff and you fail. And both ways, so long as you did it and you like, you tried it, I can really check you. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and season this chicken and catch up with Vlogmas. I'm really enjoying everyone's Vlogmases at the moment. chicken i've put it in the fridge i wanted to show you this really quickly guys we have so many different fruit flies in here it's because i had like a tin of chopped tomatoes that i had left on the counter and there's a tiny bit of tomatoes inside it and they've just gathered i don't even know where they come from i saw this hack on tiktok and oh my goodness i have to pull you here so you can see you can see how many there are in here guys all those little black dots are fruit flies so many it's so disgusting i had this placed right here hold up you ain't never gotta say shit and I know you taste this a little bit, mmm, high maintenance, mmm, everybody else basic, you live life on an everyday basis with poetic justice, poetic justice, if I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it, I mean I write poems in these songs, dedicated to you when you're in the mood for empathy, it's blood. Night I brought D.O.A. to the studio They already had a stage and a booty pole It's supposed to be a lot of hard working going on But who the fuck a fuck is with this working going on So I'ma put all the in for a chicken Told my girl to order and I need the kitchen Yeah, they know I got the hook up, they just wait on me to cook up Baby, I heat up the stove, you do the dishes, you know Rap game, crack game, ain't that different, you know Last album had it for me, something vicious, you know And you know I need you back in my life Girl, you know you got that, you got that thing that I like Girl, you got that thing for real when I was on a mission to make it, who used to sleep on the floor with you when you lived in the basement? Who else got all the things you need at 4 a.m. when it's like I always woke you up a drink and let you burn something? Come through, come, come through. I'm making a change today. The liquor been taking the pain away. I heard you was giving your chain away. That's kind of like giving your fame away. What's wrong with you? I sit in a box where the owners do. A boss is a road that I've grown into. I love you to death, but I told you the truth. I can't just be with you and only you. I got one virtual, got one in that dance, the only two, man. How many times have I shown it through, man? How many nights I've been woke, swerving the potholes, not trying to fuck up the wheels on the road, okay? Funny how life goes, he thought he was sick, now we wiping his nose, okay? Soon as you give him your soul, you blow up and they say you're selling your soul, okay? They want my life exposed, they want to know about the highs and lows. Well, summer all I did was rest, okay? And New Year's all I did was stretch, okay? And Valentine's Day I had sex, okay? We'll see what's about to happen next, okay? Okay, okay, we'll see what's about to happen next. I really hope you play this Cause oh girl you test my patience With all these seductive photographs And all these one off vacations You've been taking Clearly a lot for me to take it And it don't make sense Young East African girl You too busy fucking with your other man I was trying to put you on game Put you on a plane Take you and your mama to the motherland I could do it Maybe one day When you figure out you're gonna need someone When you figure out it's all right here in the city And you don't run from where we come from That sound like poetic justice Poetic justice you were so new to this life, but got it. Good afternoon, guys. Good afternoon. Just putting a little bit of lotion in my hands before I start my drive to head off to my parents. I'm going to be seeing them this weekend. I'm really looking forward to hanging out with them and catching up with them. Last night was really chill. I spent the evening by myself enjoying my MS takeaway. It was so funny when I was at the till, the lady was like, Oh, enjoying a solo night for one. And I was like, Ah, is it that obvious? <laughs> 
<laughs> is it that obvious? I think it's because I had like a little mini bottle of Prosecco as opposed to like a big full one. So she probably, she was like, oh, you know, enjoying yourself. I was like, yeah, you know, my husband's just traveled. So I'm by myself. I don't ever told you guys that Damini has traveled. I think I mentioned it probably like two weeks back when he went to look for his travel visa, travel certificate, something like that. Damini has traveled to Nigeria. He'll be back on Monday. So yeah, yesterday I was alone. But honestly, I wasn't even feeling lonely. I spent a lot of time on like on TikTok. I lot, spent a lot of time like creating, imagining, thinking, like visualizing things that I really want for the future. Like especially now that it's the end of the year, we're coming towards the end of the year. I'm literally thinking about 2024 and my focuses and the, like the things that I want to push and drive for. Like what does 2024 look like for me, you know? So I was doing a lot of that yesterday, a lot of creating and a lot of dreaming. But it was really nice, you know, nice to spend some time also by myself. Yeah, so your girl is on her way to her parents then i'll be back in time for him to be back also guys thank you so much for all the questions that you guys sent me on my instagram oh my goodness like i asked you guys to send questions on stories uh for my end of year wrap up q a which is going to be the next video next week 31st of december on a new year's eve so be sure to watch that because i've got some really good questions like some really really good questions that i am so excited to answer i want to make this super insightful as open as i can be and just like as informative as i can be so that you know i really like watching videos i feel like if i watch something i take something away from it you know so yeah let's get going let's get to this weekend so that two more sleeps until my husband's back literally but i really am thankful that i have not been feeling lonely because it really is my best friend like we've still kept in touch i've spoken to damini so many times since between him leaving yesterday and him arriving like it's crazy alone but definitely not lonely all right let's hop onto ways and let's go see the dingers <laughs> Every time I write these words